Hello everyone, this is Enigma here, and I just need to make this video right away. I, I got to. I'm, I'm tired of, you know, keeping these feelings in. I'm tired of, you know, not making a video defending this guy. Because, without a doubt, Masahiro Sakurai is my all-time favorite video game developer. And it's not just because of Smash Brothers, but it's because with every game that he does... He pushes himself above and beyond to make the most complete and, you know, the most perfect product ever. Masahiro Sakurai really does care about his job and his work, unlike a lot of other video game developers. Masahiro Sakurai does a really good job with what he does, and I have to make this video. And, um, I, and since, you know, it's the day after Thanksgiving... Um, I thought that this this video uh, would have been perfect as, you know, a theme of thanks. Because people really need to be thankful for what Sakurai has given to us. That's right. Um, now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I believe yesterday or somewhere around this time, Sakurai had an interview with someone and... It really hurts my heart because, you know, it really does, it, it, like, from the sound of this post, it really sounds like Sakurai is, like, fed up with the fans. He is really sick of the ungrateful people. I'm going to read what he said right now. So, when he was interviewed about that, he said, This time I worked with the same company and same team that worked on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Super Smash for Nintendo 3DS titles. And in those titles, we were able to include quite a few fighters. So I thought if we work a bit harder, we can make the dream of including all fighters come true. So we went for it. There will be people who might feel disappointed if fighters that appeared in a previous title are not included. I didn't want any players to feel that way. So we worked really hard to make this happen. But what I learned is that regardless of doing our utmost, no matter how hard we try, no matter how many fighters we include, there will always be people who will feel that way. That is sad. That is so sad. That almost made me tear up reading that because Sakurai... Now, there has been some confusion with people lately. Um, people do not know the difference between being disappointed and... And being ungrateful. And there's also some people saying that, oh, it's a gift. I mean, it's not a gift. It's a product. And people can criticize it. But what people don't understand is that we're not talking about the people who simply criticize. I mean, look at my videos. There's some, time, there's some instances where I criticize Smash Ultimate. Like, I didn't like how, you know, there's not trophies in this game. But the thing is, is that... We are still getting the game regardless. I'm compassionate about this game. Sure, there's some things I not I don't like here and there. But overall, I am excited for this game. And I really have to applaud Sakurai. Because he went... His, he, this is by far his greatest project he's ever done. This is the greatest Smash game ever. And... At this point, what is there to complain about? Think about it. We have every single character that has ever been in a Smash game, plus newcomers, 900 music tracks, 108 stages, a story mode. What is there to complain about? Now, I left a comment on someone's video covering this. I'm not going to say who it is, but I left a comment and I really like what I said. So I'm really I'm going to I'm going to say this out loud because I'm really I'm really happy about what I said. This is a comment on a YouTube video. It has 7 likes and a hearted comment. So I'm really excited to talk about this. So I said, this is so sad. Sakurai is without a doubt my favorite video game developer out there. He puts his heart and soul into these games, and he really cares so much about his job and his work. Ultimate is no exception, and by now, what is there to complain about? This game is every single character that has ever been in a Smash game ever, plus newcomers, 108 stages, 900 music tracks, a story mode, and someone with a kind heart behind the whole development cycle. And yet, people still have the audacity to complain. 
I mean, it's one thing to be disappointed, but it's another thing to be a cruel-hearted jerk who will nitpick about the littlest of things. If you are someone that is like that, I will have no respect for you. And you, Sakurai, you deserve a 10-year vacation once this game reaches shelves. Uh, reaches shelves. You deserve it. Smiley face. So, I, I, I'm so, I, I really do like... I, I'm really happy of what Sakurai has given us. Sure, there's maybe some things I'll criticize here and there, but for the most part, I'm not going to say, Oh, insert character didn't make it in the cut. This is the worst Smash game ever. Uh, not getting it. I'm not like that. You know, I'm not sitting in front of my camera going like, Oh, um, this, this there's no insert character in this game. Like, there's no Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I'm, screw it. I'm skipping this. I'm not like that. You know? Even if my all-time favorite character does not get into this game, like my all-time most wanted, it does not mean that I'm not going to get this game. This game is perfect in my eyes. Okay, it may not be perfect, because, you know, not every game is perfect. But, I, it's almost perfect, because there's just so much put into this game. It's like, how can you complain? How? How? Like, it's like... It's like those three people that uh, harass Sakurai about Waluigi, and sure, those two people uh, apologized, but they shouldn't have done it in the first place. I, it's just, it really hurts my, it really breaks my heart because Sakurai really does care about this game. You know, he's not just saying, he's not just saying, screw it, I'm gonna make the fans unhappy, I'm gonna make sure they uh, do not get their characters in this, like, Sakurai's not like that. Sakurai is not like that. I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure if there was a way, I'm pretty sure he would have included pretty much every fan requested character by now. But people need to realize how difficult that is, especially for third party characters. Because Sakurai has just got to go through so much legal stuff. You guys, and the thing is, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. All we know is that we're going to be getting this perfect game come December, and we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, you know, we don't know how, we, we don't know, like, how stressful it is for Sakurai, we only have evidence because of the fact that he's passed out many times, and he almost lost his arm when developing Smash 4, Sak, that is how hard working Sakurai is, there is, you know, I don't, I can't think of a reason to complain, you know, like, I understand if you're criticizing it, but if you're gonna go to the point where you're gonna harass him, that is off the line, and you, I do not consider you a true Smash fan if you are harassing him. I understand that, you know, you can be disappointed, because I'll admit, I'm disappointed that some of the characters didn't make it in, but I'm still getting the damn game. I'm still getting the game, and, you know, there's a story mode. There's a story mode. It's like, how can you, like, okay, I will admit I was a little bit disappointed about the last character reveals, but at this point, what really made that November Direct special is that they revealed a story mode. That's all we need. You know, that's probably the biggest thing about this game. You know, it's probably not the characters. It's about the modes. The story mode. Like, that is supposed... I'm pretty sure Sakurai planned that to be the biggest mode in this game. And people are complaining about a character or... Or, this is even worse. This is an even worse complaint. Complaining about the feather on Mr. Game & Watch? Like, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of bigger things in this game than to focus on a feather on a 2D silhouette character. Ugh. I just hate when people nitpick about the littlest things like that. I mean, I understand if you're being critical, but that's not critical. That's just complaining about something that's not even a problem. That's that's not a problem. That was a reference to an old school game. It's not a reference to native. Okay, that that I, I should have ranted about that earlier because that was a long time ago. But simply put, Sakurai does not deserve the hate. You know, sure, not every game is perfect, but. Mm, 
you know, not every game, you know, like, Sakurai is just, he worked so hard, and when, you know, I'm pretty sure he, it, there's a reason why he blocked people who harassed him about things. He's sick of hearing it, you know, he wants people to be happy, you know, he never went into this game hoping that people were upset about the game or disappointed. I'm pretty sure he thought that a lot of people would be totally satisfied with this game, and he thought a lot of people would be happy, but a lot of people just turned out to be uh, jerks and started harassing him because, you know, characters didn't get in the game. And, you know, people just need to grow the hell up. You know, how old are you guys? You guys, this is a video game! A video game! You know, there's always other times... And even then, you don't deserve the characters or the things you want after this game comes out. Like, you don't deserve the characters if you're going to harass them. Like, I'm sorry, but that it, it crosses the line. Like, I mean, it's one thing to be critical, but it's a whole nother thing to be harassing. Like, harassing is just... <sighs> People just need to stop. People need to grow up. It's that easy. Think about the things that make this game good. There's a... I, I'm, I'm going to keep bringing it up. Because there's a story mode. A story mode. An adventure mode where you go through levels and, you know, fight enemies. There's a story mode. 900 music tracks? Like, that is insane. 108 stages? That's more than enough stages I ever thought that would be in this game. Like, come on. Come on. Like, people... Guys, grow up. Just and accept the game as it is. Because I'm pretty sure that in the future, there's not going to be another Smash game like this. I can assure you of that. This is by far going to be the greatest Smash game ever. People need to just accept this game as it is. He can't make everyone happy. Just leave Sakurai alone. That's all I had to say. Now, I know I sounded a bit serious in this video, but it this is a topic that pisses me off. Like, I just hate hearing about how people harass him and, you know, complain about some of the things he didn't include. It's It's... Ah, it's just... Oh. Anyways, tell me your opinions in the comments down below. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.